Hello and welcome to BA Publisher Basics and Beyond. In this chapter, we would look at how to create a multi-page output. Uh, a, a simple example would be if how to create a form, a pre-filled form from a BA Publisher. So we are going to look at a sales contract and how a sales contract can be created. This may not be, you know, it may not look professional, but the idea is the same and uh, you can build on it. <coughs> So as always, the zip file is available below the video for download. So make sure your uh, VA publisher is installed. So let's start with the uh, you know start with an RTF file. So before we continue, let's look at the uh, XML file. So the XML file has a root under which there are different different uh, child elements, sub childs. So we will start with the uh, basic template. So we will we're gonna we are going to first. Uh, we're going to do a few things. We're going to change the page layout, page add up page border, change the page page orientation. Uh, we're going to do a few things, um, and uh, we're going to do uh, we're going to create a table inside a, a header, and uh, we will start from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'll go to page layout, orientation landscape, page layout margins, customize margin. Let's make it uh, 0.5 on both sides. Let's go to layout, borders. Let's add a border. Let's go to uh, insert, header, edit header. Let's go insert a table. Let's go ahead and insert page number. So I'm going to select this. Insert date. Insert the other uh, text. So at the end of the process, we will have uh, an output something like this. Let's go to step two. The next step, so in the next step, we're going to build parameters. So we're going to add a, uh, we're going to add a, uh, the, the first we'll, we'll add uh, contract details. So right now I'm just putting garbage there. The next thing we're going to create a table and uh, we are going to add these fields. So I have added the text. I'm going to add the insert the table. Let's go ahead and add the text. Let's go ahead and add the text. Let's go to sample data. Make sure you load the sample data. Let's go to field. So in this example that I have, I only have only uh, one uh, uh, parameter. So I'm just going to pull in. I'm just going to bring in the other parameters, um, and let's complete the. Uh, so I just pulled in some. Uh, I just copied. Uh, I I just copied some data in here. Uh, these have no. Uh, I don't have the fields, but if just, these are just fields I copied it over. So this, so we have uh, at this point we have entered the parameter page. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the next step. So we so next is we have so this is uh, so we we're going to create a, a three page report. The next page is going to have the header details of the contract. So we have in this in our example we have a XML file with certain details. Let's build a, build a table and uh, add those details. So we're going to build a table for each. Uh, if we look at the for each uh, the main row, we're going to build a table, a terms of contract table. Let's start with the do a new create a new page. Control Enter, and let's uh, enter the text. Let's. Uh, I think I added too many pages. Okay. 
let's add the uh, table insert go ahead and insert table so we can say deal master so I'll take the first item just to make it easy let's go ahead and uh, take the fields out so we can build our own table so what I have done is I have created I've just created a table added uh, these fields and I also added the the record number which is the position of the uh, field and there's a page I added a page break at the end so if it's a page break um, I want to add a, added a page break so at this point we have a for each loop and a, and a, and if let's go ahead and test this one so you can see uh, the three pages the second page has the header detail So there's another. There's, there are two uh, deal header, two through two contracts. So one, two contracts. So let's go ahead and create the next step. So we're going to add. Um, we're going to add the, the 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 details about the contract. So we, in this case, we're going to add items. So it can be any 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 amount of data. So we are going to add the items in this case. So we're going to add items all right below it. Let's go ahead. Let's go to let's go ahead and add some space. Table wizard insert. So we can add the items. Let's go ahead and start with the item. We'll do the same process. Go ahead and copy the uh, for each and put it above. Actually, we can leave this uh, for here. Uh, and we may have to create a few bunch of columns. So let's go ahead, add one more column. So add. Go ahead and copy the end diff from here, put it there. So at the end of the exercise, you would see a table, something like this. Normally there will be some text here about the item details and uh, um, you know, th this is a dummy, you know, I'm, I'm just playing, I'm just uh, giving you an idea. So uh, we'll have the item details. So let's go ahead to the next step. So we're going to enter the contract details like the contract number and everything. So this would be in page four. So uh, let's go ahead and do this one. So with in this case, we would uh, take, we'll continue, we'll just do a page break here, right about here. And we will add the next table. We can use the table wizard. This time we're going to get the dates. Okay, next, just need the start date. End date, click finish. Let's make this uh, much better. Make this more. Or you can always insert a table and uh, do copy the information. So we added the contract dates. Let's go ahead and add the contract number. So we add a contract number. I'm going to pull the contract number from from the field deal number. Let's add another another column here to add the terms. So we can add the terms. So let's go ahead and insert a table. Allowance terms. You know, do the same thing. Quick finish. So we have created another table with the with the with the other details. 
Um, not normally in a contract there will be a, uh, you know there will be other other terms and you know more detailed descriptions and everything here. There will be a place to sign. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's go through the setups one more time. So, so let's go remove the border lines, and uh, we will enter the. So we're going to enter the. Uh, we're going to add one more page to sign and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have one more page. So this would be for uh, entering the contract details. So I've added the box to enter the contract details and a signature plate. Let's go ahead and remove the borders. So let's go to remove the remove all the borders. So let's remove the borders from all over the place. So I've removed the borders from all over the pages. Let's go ahead and add the boxes here so basically we would just click on here and uh, go to design we will just add a border for the bottom inside horizontal so do the same thing here the signatures and date so that would uh, then let's go ahead and run this and see what how it looks like So you'll have the signature details here. So this concludes this lab. The idea was to uh, give you, you know, a report with multiple pages. It's primarily for uh, contract details. So when you run the report, you will have multiple contracts being printed. Um, it's not that frequently used, but normally uh, the report, uh, report that we that that's been generated will have a lot of legal terms and everything. So uh, feel free to download. You know, so if you look at the, uh, if you look at the files, and there are a lot of uh, files for you to download. Or you can play with it. Or I've saved this. I've saved the, you know, steps at different, uh, different stop points. You feel free to download them and test them, and uh, you know, try to, you know, try to see if we can do it better. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave, uh, you know, reach out to me, and I'll be happy to help. So that concludes this chapter. Thank you.